There's so much space. Hey, look at all these quacks. The magic butt, the magic butt, the magic butt. Brody. <sighs> well, hello, my name is Brody. Well, hello, my name is Brody, and I'm doing another video. I'm trying to upload a video every other Monday, so we're gonna keep this train going. Today, I, we're gonna talk about pet peeves. Everyone has them, it's what makes us human. Uh, next week is hopefully another skit, and I hope you guys enjoyed the last one. Whoa, what a great Snapchat. Hey everyone, follow me on Snapchat, whoa. So I've had this idea for another skit revolving around pet peeves and a character <laughs> that I wrote down a very long time ago called Pet Peeve Patrick. Patrick. Hello? Oh hey, my name is Patwick. I have a lot of pet peeves. Call me Pet Peeve Patwick. When I was a little kid, my biggest pet peeve, my two really big pet peeves. Just the sounds of people chewing anyway. I couldn't I couldn't stand it. I would I would leave the table and eat somewhere else. It's still a thing now, it's just not as much. I mean, if they're close, if they if they have their mouth closed and they're chewing, there's nothing much they could really do after that. If your mouth's open, then I'm gonna tell you to close your goddamn mouth. Another one, mainly my siblings again as a kid would sing along to a song or sing a song like Akuna Matata. That pissed the hell out of me. Oh my god, I absolutely hated when they sung that. It's not it's not really a pet peeve anymore. It's just. It's like cringy. <laughs> I don't know. Late people, not like like five minutes late, but like over an hour late. And I'm I'm looking at you, Lauren. She'll be like, I'll be there at three. I'm like, okay, see you at six tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Some people, you their sense of time is just awful. They don't. I'll get. I'll be five minutes to get ready. Thirty minutes later. Like, come on. This one is my nails on a chalkboard. If someone is filing their nails. I just, I just shiver and I'm just like <laughs> And if they do it to me, I will just freak out. I can't stand that. It's way worse than nails on a chalkboard for me. I mean, I feel like you might as well just use sandpaper. I, the, the, the sound, I know I'm like <laughs> Instant goosebumps. Friends talking during a movie. It really depends on the movie though. If we're watching a comedy and they talk a little bit, it's not too bad. If we're watching like a, an epic movie where you need a pay attention, fully immersed, and then Jeremy beside me was like, oh, do you see the face he made? Yeah, <laughs> Jeremy, please. I'm trying to, I'm trying to watch my movie. Another one would be nail clippings. First of all, feet, I find feet disgusting in general. And when I hear someone clipping their toenail, like, if you're gonna clip your toenails, first of all, go to the bathroom and do it. Second of all, Close the goddamn door. It's more, it's more of the, the fact that I find feet disgusting, but then you're just like, your little clippings are like, getting everywhere and you're not, <sighs> I can't be the only one. <laughs> when you're uh, walking down a hallway of some sort and there's really slow people, I have long legs. I walk a little faster than most people, but when there's a line of people beside each other and they're all walking slowly, not, not having that. They just, they have no sense of, other people around them, you know? Kind of brings me to the next one. Drivers who don't have a sense of the space their car takes. Like, if I'm at a red light and one person's at the stop line and then another person's behind them, but they're way back here, I might I might honk for you to move the hell forward. There's no need to cause a traffic jam if there's so much space already in front of you. Someone could actually be stuck on train tracks because you have so much space in between. These, these are getting really nitpicky, aren't they? Your roommate or someone is just listening to a video, but like on full blast, even though they're right at the goddamn computer, or listening to music full blast, because apparently their ears don't work, so you get to turn up the volume all the goddamn way. You already hear it. Turn it down. It doesn't have to be at 11. Clapping at the end of the movie when it's not even the premiere of the movie. If you're at the first showing of the movie and it's all the hardcore fans and everyone claps at the end, that is fine, I have done that, that is okay. But the movie's been out for like four weeks or something. It's always like one guy starts clapping, he's like. <laughs> if he's with some of his friends, they'll all clap together and then that'll get more people clapping. Like, 
Come on, dude. No one's here. No one's here to applause to. I mean, you just go to your friends. Hey, that was a good movie. Yeah, that was a good movie, wasn't it? Let's make loud sounds with our flesh hitting each other constantly so we can let everyone know. <laughs> so, in a parking spot, there are lines. You have to be in between those lines. And sometimes, only certain people are allowed to park in some parking spots. There's a stick man with like a chair. That's a handicapped parking spot. If you can't see that with your eyes, maybe you shouldn't be driving at all, you know? I went to the gym the other day. There was a handicapped parking spot and I noticed a big truck was like diagonal in it. And uh, I'm like, okay, well, they're handicapped. Maybe they <laughs> can't park properly. I walked by them to get inside the gym and I noticed they didn't have a handicapped decal on their car. And there's a person inside the car just waiting. It was a woman and I think she was like reading a book. So I'm in the gym for like 45 minutes. I come back out. She's still there in the handicapped parking spot, diagonal for 45 minutes. So, I don't know, she was waiting for someone to finish at the gym as well. So in that whole 45 goddamn minutes, you could have found another, I wanted to like, honestly, I wanted to call the cops or something. I assumed when I saw her the first time she was gonna move or it was temporary, like a two minute parking spot. Also, why do some people just have to back into every parking stall they park in? You could, you could pull in straight and then back out and leave. You don't have to like take three hours to get the the full backing into it. You're making everyone wait behind you so they can find a parking spot. Hurry the hell up and park your goddamn minivan. It's like, oh, but you know, I it's easier to get out when I back in because I just pull forward. Yeah, but it's also easier to park if you pull forward too. So wait. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a really short video. All right, let's just plow through these now. Loud cellophone, loud cellophone, cellophone, cell, cellophone? Am I even, what's a cellophone? Cellophone, cell, cell. Loud cellular device conversations in public. Why you gotta be yelling? The mic is literally right beside your mouth. They, I'm pretty sure they can hear you. People who believe everything they see in online news articles. I'm looking at you, JK Rowling. PewDiePie did nothing wrong. When people say woof instead of wolf. Excuse me? Woof? That's like me saying, hey, there's a quack. Because it's a duck and he quacks. So, hey, look at all these quacks. Look at all these woofs. W-O-L-F. Wolf. Uh, when people say paper, rock, scissors instead of rock, paper, scissors. I mean, you probably grew up with paper, rock, scissors, but that just sounds not correct. I don't know. GIF and JIF. The guy who made the GIF, he said it's pronounced JIF. He has no idea what he's talking about. Graphical interchange format. Graphical, not graphical, okay? Why would you make the abbreviation JIF rather than GIF? It's a hard G, not a soft G. And my biggest one right now is not knowing how to stack a dishwasher properly, and that's mainly to my brothers. Actually, you know what, no one knows how to stack a dishwasher probably. I mean, it doesn't matter when you're like living alone, who, who cares how you stack it, but like, if you have so many dishes to get clean, you gotta stack it properly, like the bowls, well, it depends what your dishwasher's like, but each like prong is meant for something. So if you got the, the, the one that goes like this and then like go out like that, you put the bowls in there and you spread them out like that, okay? And <sighs> your utensils, in the little thing, you gotta make sure the forks stick up and the spoons stick up. Or if they all go down into the thing, then they're not gonna get clean properly because they're all touching each other. You can't clean two spoons if they're like this because no, no, no soap, no water's gonna get in there and fuck. Like seriously. All right. <laughs> all right guys, what are your biggest pet peeves? Did I mention some that you have? Comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Take off you hosers.